let's see the review for lesson two. In lesson two, uh, we talked about energy intensity. You need to know what energy intensity is. And um, you need to also uh, know about these quadrillion BTUs. Quadrillion BTUs is 10 raised to 15 um, BTUs. Trillion is 12 and uh, quadrillion is 15, 10 raised to 15. And the highlights of world energy consumption and United States energy consumption are given here. You need to know about that. There was a mistake on um, screen 14 uh, of the lessons where when you put in what is the percentage of fossil fuels, you put in 85% and it says wrong. But that is 85%, so just be aware of that. And you should also know in how to calculate doubling time. There was an equation that I'm going to provide you, but that equation is 70 over rate of increase is gives you the doubling time. So there will be some numerical problems relating to this. And basically it comes from the equation n equal to n0 e raised to rt. Okay, so you need to know how to use this equation and calculate or project the energy demand in future. And try to remember the differences between energy reserves and resources and uh, how long each of these reserves last. R approximate numbers, like you don't need to remember exact numbers, but roughly what is the lifetime for um, coal, oil, and natural gas for both the United States and the world. You don't have to remember about any other country. Um, uh, pretty much those are the facts that you need to know for uh, for this chapter. You don't, I don't expect you to remember exact numbers, statistics, but you need to know the top ones, like most of the petroleum is used for transportation. Most of the coal is used uh, to generate electricity. You don't need to remember how much, but, you know, the majority or majority of um, or, or um, most of the oil is used for transportation. Um, and those kinds of, you know, uh, details, like, you know, which country is has most of uh, oil uh, deposits or uh, uh, how do we do um, in terms of deposits, etc. cetera. Um, those are the basic things. And again, uh, you don't need to remember any of the formulas or any of the conversion factors. I will provide you with those things. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always um, you know, send me a question or post a question on the message board, and I will try to answer those.